right? So our focus is to um, organize the world information. And even though we have more than 50 products right now, I'm very different from each other, and we do a lot of things. We're more than 17,000 people over the world. Um, we, uh, we have more than 140 offices all over the world, too. You know, the home page of Google is still really simple, which is a great challenge, how to do you know, something so complex in so many languages, in so many countries, is still with such a simple interface. And, uh, and that's because we will centrally really organize into the world information and make it universally accessible and useful for people. And that's, that's, uh, that's what we're trying to do from day one. So anything that you do at Google is related to our mission. So when people say, why YouTube? Why do you acquire a keyhole for Google Earth? Why are you doing book search? Why, you know, why are you, you know, launching a desktop search? It's because everything is in line with our mission of organizing the world's information and making it universally accessible and useful for a lot of people. And just remember, like, the, the, the four main things about our search, it's comprehensive, so it's really wide. We try our index, we try to have it as big as we can. We want to have relevant results, so when you look for something, the first thing that you get on the top of the search results, we like them to be relevant. So there's an algorithm, a formula behind that with more than 200 variables that every day it's updating uh, uh, the weights of what we think is it's important to give relevancy to the search results. Quick, you know, how many times have you gone to Google and you had to wait for a couple of minutes for search results? So we have data centers distributed all over the world to make sure that, you know, whatever you're connecting from, you have a quick result and access to our results. And a big challenge of the user interface, make it easy for my mother to use it. You know, we can organize the one information and create an, uh, an application that you need training to use. You know, make it simple and useful is really important. And you know, that's that's the Google that you know. But like um um information next to that. So if we have such a large number of information related to geo tasks. Why not creating a new way of displaying the information that has to do with geo-related queries? You know, it makes much more sense to display the information on a different platform than on, the, than on just wide page on the standard way that you're displaying the Google results. And that's where Google Earth and Google Maps come into play. This is actually a map that has been built out of that geotag for the index. So we took a wide piece of paper and then we said, okay, Let's, you know, let's uh, draw a dot for every single little piece of information that we have in the index. Let's see what it is in the world. And we get this map. So, you know, just a quick look at this, you can tell that we actually at Google, the Google index, there's something to say, some information for almost everywhere in the world. And actually this is a picture that it was taken in May 07 last year. Since then, in just one year, this map has gained a 300% in density. So there is like three times more information related to geographical places from a year um, uh, ago till, uh, till now. So, this, and, and that's, that's, a, that's, that's really a dimension that we haven't even explored. When you look for something in Google, the fact that you know where that information is located is not really that important. And, um, and we believe it is. When you open the world of like where things are happening, where they're happening, I think that's a new dimension to the information that for many, for many, uh, for many cases, it's very relevant. And, and that's something actually that is happening not only on the desktop, but also in the, in the cloud, what we call the cloud computing in the platform. The fact that I can access you know, information not only on my computer, but also on my mobile phone, and I have the mobile phone more time that, I have, that I'm connected to my computer, makes the mobile phone more relevant for geographic, you know, for geographic related information. And actually, even more, when the mobile phone can tell Google where I am. So when I say right now, I don't know if you guys know this feature for Google Maps, that it's GPS without GPS, it's called my vision. Do you know about that? <laughs> so Google Maps can tell you where you are without necessarily having a GPS just because of tri triangulation of antennas from the mobile access. And that's really important because, you know, uh, that's, that's a dimension, you know, like I don't need to tell Google, you know, find me a restaurant near this place that's up.